welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be going through a few more settings you can do within Windows to improve the performance of Game Loop. If you haven't checked out the first part to this video yet, then the link to that video is in the description below. To start off with, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of Windows and right click. And you now need to click on to Apps and Features. And you now want to go through all the apps that are installed on your computer. Any programs that you no longer need or use, then uninstall these programs. As having lots of programs installed on your computer will slow down your machine. And this will also have an impact when using Game Loop. The next thing to do is go back down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and right click again. And you now want to click on Task Manager. You now need to go across to Startup, and you now need to go through this list and disable any programs you do not use or want to boot up with Windows. For example, Spotify. I don't need that to turn on with my computer as soon as I log on, so basically I can disable this. To do this, all you need to do is right click and then go on to Disable. As you can see, it already is disabled, and that's why it says Enable. Windows security notifications, I can disable that, all I need to do is right click and go to disable and that will no longer boot up with my machine. Windows 10 is very good and it does also have a startup impact to give you a rough idea how much impact that program has on your machine when it loads up. The next thing you want to do is go through processes and just end any task that is currently running that you do not need. For example, if I had Google Chrome open, I could right click and close Google Chrome as I don't need it when I'm gaming. We have Game Manager service here. I don't need that running, which means I can simply click onto it and then go end task. Google Installer, I'm not sure why that is running, but I do not need that to run whilst I am playing my games which means I can go end task again. And I can do this for Adobe Acrobat update. As you can see, there's a few things in there that is running that I do not need to be running. And it also does tell you how much CPU and memory these programs are using. The next thing is to change the power plan on your computer. To do this, all we need to do is go back down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in power and you now need to click on power and sleep settings and you now want to click on additional power settings and we want to make sure the high performance option is enabled. If you click on show additional plans it may be hidden within here but you can enable a ultimate performance plan as well. I will put a link to that video on how to enable this but you do need to do a few tweaks to Windows, but it really is worth enabling this as it will give your computer that extra bit of performance. And that is what we want when we're playing Call of Duty Mobile in Game Loop. The next thing we want to do is make sure indexing is paused. To do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in index. And you now want to click on indexing options. You will now see a pause button down the bottom here. If the indexing is running, you just want to pause this while you are gaming. Usually indexing is quite good and when you are using a program that requires quite a lot of memory or CPU and a game, it should pause. But just be on the safe side, we want to pause this anyway. The next thing we want to do is make sure our visual effects are turned down. To do this, all you need to do is open up File Explorer and you now need to right click on this PC and go to Properties. We now need to click on to Advanced System Settings and you now need to click on to Advanced up the top here and then click on to Settings underneath Performance. 
you'll now have a massive list of options. For the best results to increase FPS and reduce lag within game, you want to click on adjust for best performance and press apply. But just remember this will make Windows 10 look not as nice, but to be honest, I can't really tell the difference. As you can see, I have now applied that and I can't really see much difference on this. I mean, you can see the text isn't as smooth, but other than that, I can't really tell a lot of changes have been done. And finally, we now want to enable game mode. To do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in game. And you now need to type in mode and open up game mode settings. You should now have a screen that looks like this. You need to make sure you are on the game mode section here and we now need to make sure game mode is enabled and basically this will help increase frames per second and reduce lag within games as well because it will tell Windows to not use as many resources when you're within a game. The final step now, depending on what graphics card you have, is changing some settings within the control panel for your graphics card. If you have a Nvidia graphics card, then to do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner and right click on your Nvidia logo and then click onto Nvidia control panel. Once the Nvidia control panel is open, you now need to click on adjust image settings with preview and you will end up with a window that looks like this. Currently we have the let the 3D application decide but you actually want to choose the bottom option. You now want to change the slider from quality to performance and this will increase the frames per second within game loop and also help reduce any lag. Once you are happy with that you can now go ahead and press apply and you can now open up game loop and play Call of Duty. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.